conversions of mass units of mass in units of mass we have high units that is kilogram hectogram decagram and standard unit gram and the lower units decigram centigram milligram highest unit is kilogram and the lowest unit is milligram to remember this sequence we have mnemonic king henry died girl didn't cry much in mass there is girl and in length it was mother so mother is for meters and girl is for grams so king henry died girl didn't cry much now how we can do the conversions of mass for that first we'll make the chart the unit chart that is king henry died girl didn't cry much after that moving from left to right that is forward multiply each step by 10 so when we are moving from left side to right side every time we'll multiply by 10 and moving from right to left side that is backward divide each step by 10 so when we are moving backwards that is left to right to left then we'll divide by 10 each step let's understand this with the help of examples how this table will be helpful in the questions suppose we have to convert 1 decagram equal to dash grams we have to convert 1 decagram to grams for that first we'll make that chart that unit chart with the help of mnemonic king henry died girl didn't cry much d a g decagram and d g is decigram so here decagram to gram so decagram to gram we are moving forward from left to right it means we'll multiply not divide so multiply by 10 well then moving forward so we'll multiply 1 with 10 that is 1 decagram is equal to 1 multiply 10 grams that is 10 grams is our answer so 1 decagram is equal to 10 grams the second question 35 kilograms to decagram we have to convert kilograms to decagram let's make chart again this time again kilogram to decagram moving forward so first step kilogram to hectogram then hectogram to decagram so every time moving forward or you can say from left to right multiply by 10 so this time we have two tens that is we'll multiply it with 100 so 35 kilogram equals to 35 multiply 100 decagrams so our answer will be 3500 decagram that is 3500 decagram C part we have fifteen point six decigram to centigram. Make the chart again with the help of mnemonic. King Henry died. Girl didn't cry much. Decigram to centigram. Decigram to centigram. That is we are moving forward. That is left to right. Multiply ten, and five point six decigram will be multiplied with ten to convert into centigram. In the multiplication of decimals. we shift the decimal to the right side there is 101 one decimal place and your answer will be 156 centigram to understand the multiplication of decimals with 10 100 and 1000 you can watch my video of multiplying decimals by 10 100000 i will share link in the description so you can watch d part we have 8 hectogram to decigram dg is decigram and dag is decagram remember this so using the mnemonic we'll make a chart and hectogram to decagram it means we are moving forward from hectogram to decagram so it's from hectogram decigram sorry so it's from hectogram to decagram then decagram to gram and then gram to decigram so there are three steps we'll multiply each time so this time Eight will be multiplied with thousand. So eight hectogram means eight multiplied thousand decigrams, and eight thousand decigram is answer. The question can be in this form: fill in the blanks. Eight fifty centigram equal to dash grams. Make the chart again. Let's see. We are moving backward or forward. So centigram to gram, moving backward this time. That is from right to left. 
So when we are moving from right to left centigram to decigram, decigram to gram, we'll divide by 10 each time. So two tenths means we'll divide it with 100. So 650 centigrams is equal to 650 by 100 grams. Now, in the division with the numbers, we can put from put decimal from this here at the end to the two places, that is 6.50. So you can also watch my video of div uh, dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000 decimal numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. And you'd know that how the decimal moves here. Uh, every time when we divide decimal moves to the left side and when there is no decimal in the quotient, it means decimal is at last. So here it is decimal, so answer will be 6.5 grams. Next question, 28 milligram equal to dash centigrams. Make the chart with the help of mnemonic and let's see if we are moving backward or forward. So it's milligram to centigram, we are going backward, that is right to left. So arrow will be downwards. And it will go, it's the division. So we'll divide by 10. So 28 milligram equal to 28 by 10 centigrams. So it will be 2.8 centigrams. Decimal will go from this side to this, 2.8 centigrams. C part, we have 600 decigram to dash decagram. Chart again, decigram to decagram moving backward. So decigram to gram, gram to decagram, divide by 10 each time. So the, this will be divided by 10. So 600 decigram is equal to 600 by 100 decagram. And either you cut the zeros or you can place the decimal. So answer will be 6 decagram. D part is 1580 centigram to dash decagram. Chart again, centigram to decagram. So first centigram to decigram, decigram to gram, and gram to decagram. So divided by 100 each time. 300 means we have to divide it with 1000. So 1580 centigrams is equal to 1580 by 1000. So decimal will shift to the left side to the three places because there are three zeros. So answer will be 1.580 decagram or you can say 1.58 decagrams. It's your time to work out. Convert 7 kgs to gram. Write answers in the comment section. I will check later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming videos.